Here we go with the third hunt for today. As you can see, I make an astounding $241.10 per hour at this rate. $43.80 in 10 minutes and 54 seconds. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to go to other states at nighttime when the birds aren't spawning here and then still end up being able to spawn right back at this spot for free. Like, it's it's pretty neat. I go over into Lemoyne in two different locations I go and loot some houses. I could have even done a little hunting, but I decided not to shoot my gun because there was another player in the area that was hunting. I didn't want to kind of like be rude and like spawn in on them and then shoot my gun. I kind of don't like it when people do that to me, so extend that courtesy to others. So you can see I took down four birds, all right? And as I'm skinning them up, there's two more vultures and a hawk. That's seven birds right now that I've downed at this location. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get them all skinned. You see the two vultures just disappeared off the radar. That's a loss right there. That's quite unfortunate. I made $241 and lost two birds. That would have been another six vulture feathers. Like, that would have been, you know, six times a dollar twenty. You're looking at $7.20 more. I would have made over 50, I would have made $51 if I would have been able to get the feathers, just the three feathers off those birds. That's not counting, you know, uh, meat or flight feather. I'm probably going to be full on flight feather, but still, I mean, like, you know that, that, that if I would have been able to skin everything that I downed here, then, I don't know, I would have been able to make a lot more than $241 per hour. I made 231 XP, which comes out to 1,272 XP per hour. But as we all know, I just posted a video about an hour or two ago about uh, an XP farm in Thieves Landing. If you haven't watched that video, you should definitely check it out because it's pretty awesome. You make over 5,000 XP per hour at that farm. You actually make a little bit of money too because you can loot the bodies and you don't pick up any bounties. So that's pretty cool. Check that out. If you're looking to earn some XP, if you're looking to earn some money, this might be the way to go up here. Unless you want to earn money and gold at the same time, then you're going to want to do a player mission like Flacco up in Amberino. I have videos on that too. Check my vlog if you haven't seen those. You know, coming into Tumbleweed, I didn't check the Hawk location. I, I glanced at it, but I mean, like, at, at this time of night, it's not even going to be there. So don't even really need to bother checking that static hawk spawn that I showed you in the second hunt of the series. I'm coming in, I'm making all these sales, I've got all this money in just 10 minutes and 54 seconds. That's pretty legit. I mean, that like, that's almost on par with hunting cougars. Like, back in the day, before 1.06, if you were beating this then you were getting perfect cougars. You weren't always getting perfect cougars. So this is a pretty good hunt. You know, like this is pretty legit. Okay, now see what we're going to do here. It's nighttime. So there's no more birds spawning at Rath's Keller Fork. So when you come in, you, you close the application down just like we always do. But instead of go to free roam, pick some state that you want to go to. I choose Lemoyne because I know Lemoyne pretty well. I know loot spots. So just about anywhere I load into Lemoyne, I know where there's something to kill or something to loot. Now, fortunately, I got into the area around Braithwaite Manor. So I need some apples. I'm running low on apples. So I'm going to set my waypoint to this house over by the B. You can pick up 15 apples at this spot. Right at the bottom of this ramp, there's some. And then in the crate to the left. And then by the wagon here to the right. Just walk around, pick up as many apples as you can to your full or until they're all gone, uh, you should be able to pick up 15, is what I've counted is available. That fire you can also craft at. So I'm going to go inside here and loot some jewelry, see how I'm looking on my liquor. I'm, I don't really loot this house a lot, so I knew one of these houses, or one of these rooms up here had some jewelry in it. I picked the wrong one at first. There's absolutely nothing in this room that I'm looting right now. It's a complete waste of time going in there. But here I do find some jewelry, and I go downstairs, and there's a couple bottles of liquor. I pick one of those up, and then I'm going to close the application again. Just go and quit 
the game, close the application, and go back in. Now, I looked at the time before I did that, and I know it's not even close to 5 a.m. yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Lemoyne again. Okay? Now, I thought about going somewhere else, but I'm going to go to Lemoyne again. And it's going to spawn me into some other random location in Lemoyne. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to, you know, look around, see what I know to loot. And I know that this building here, I've been in it a couple times. I know there's some loot there. And I noticed that there's a player on my radar that's moving really fast, that, that red blip. So I know he's got to be really close to me for to be moving around that fast. I might have hurt him a little bit. I think I did. And then and I'm like, you know, I'm just not going to hunt. There was a, a heron outside that I thought about shooting before I came in here. But I'm not into, like, disturbing someone else's hunting area. So after I loot this house up, I'm going to close the application. It's going on 5 a.m. in game time. So this time when I load in, I'm just going to go to free roam. Just like we normally do, I'm just going to go to free roam. And because the last spot that I properly logged out was Rask Keller's Fork, when I go to free roam, that's where I end up. So now it's going on 5 a.m. the next day, and I'm ready to pick up fresh on a new hunt, making some money. And I killed some time overnight without having to set anything back up in the next morning. So check that out. Tell me how you like it down below in some comments. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.